from children with hair loss, um, please reach out. We can make more videos just like this, but I, I love being able to connect with you and I can't wait for the day that we are all back together and able to dance the night away and celebrate at the next charity ball. So thanks for spending time with me and getting ready with me and I'll see you next time. Bye. welcome you to the 20th annual Children with Hair Loss Charity Ball Celebration. Due to COVID concerns, we weren't able to have our real in-person charity ball this year, so we all came together in a different way to celebrate this time. And we're celebrating the great work that Children with Hair Loss has been doing for the last 20 years, providing hair to more than 5,000 deserving kids, and the work they've been doing throughout 2020 to make sure we are able to keep up with all of their recipients' needs, even through the pandemic. In 2019, they had a record-breaking 608 recipients, and 2020 is on track to meet or even beat that record. So we're so excited about that. It has been my great honor to host the Charity Ball over the past several years, and I am definitely honored to be a virtual host for the 2020 Charity Ball celebration. I can't wait to watch it along with all of you. So let's enjoy the show and I really hope to see you all in person again next year. Sophie Stella has been open since 2008. We are Monroe's premier shopping spot. Sophie Stella specializes in women's and children's clothing and accessories. We carry modern, trendy looks for kids and for women. I felt that there was a need in our community for specialty women's and children's clothing. So when I had my girls, I used to travel about an hour north to get something a little bit different for my kids. And I just felt that the need was here in our town. So um, the opportunity arose and I was able to open my own business, started mainly with children's clothing. And then after we were open for two years, we decided to bring in um, the women's portion of our boutique. Regina and her daughter Christine approached us several years back on being um, a partner with the fashion show portion for the children um, in the fashion show. They know that we've hosted our own fashion shows for several years and um, they asked us if we'd be interested in helping them clothe the children and we have been a part of it ever since. We love doing it, it's a lot of fun, the kids have a good time and we look forward to it every year. Some of the kids have been modeling in the show for several years, so we kind of know their style and kind of what they like, so I try to customize to that. But the children that are new or that I don't personally know, um, I just go by their age and their clothing size, and we try to pick out something that we think that they would enjoy to wear. When you get to personally meet and clothe the children and pick out outfits for them and See how excited they get when they see the beautiful dress that you picked out for them and how their smiles just light up the room and how happy they are, especially that night on that stage and their parents and friends are cheering for them. It's kind of a feeling that um, is priceless and that's why we keep doing it every year because those kids just light up the room and their excitement backstage is just infectious and the hosts and the other models, um, they just have so much fun 
and it's great to be a part of. I love being backstage with the kids. That's probably one of my favorite parts because they're excited, they're nervous, they get sad when it's their last time out on the runway. So it's just, it's all kinds of emotions, but it's all fun and, and it's just a great time. I believe that when you are blessed with an opportunity to bless other people around you, that that is such a gift. So if I can help somebody else, if I can make somebody else smile, if my business or my clothing or something that I can do can help bring joy to somebody else, then I definitely want to be a part of it. And that's exactly how I feel every time I get to participate in the Children with Their Loss show. and I've been a part of the Children with Hair Loss group since I was three and a half years old. I've known Regina practically my whole life. And when I was younger, believe it or not, I chose not to wear my wig. I have alopecia. And even though I was stubborn and chose not to wear my wig, Regina still provided a new wig for me every year. And she always told my mom one day I might want to wear it, so she always wants it to be there for me. And seventh grade year, that was the year I decided to wear my wig. And ever since I was younger, I've been grateful for what they've done for me. And it's super sad that we won't have the hairball this year, especially since I had a special guest that I really wanted Regina to meet. I'm Olivia Higgins, and Children with Hair Loss is to be up from Kentucky. I hope you're all doing well from this virus. Hope to see you in Michigan next year. Hi, I'm Kennedy Corbin, a recipient at Children with Hair Loss. I'm sorry to announce we will not be having a charity ball this November due to COVID. Next November, we hope to have one, and I hope to see all your beautiful faces and heads there, and I hope to make a bunch of new friends. Hi, everyone. My name is Omar Issa, and I've been going to the charity room charity ball since 2018 and I'm sad that we will not have it this year. I've actually had a really nice experience. Everyone is so welcoming and nice and it's just a nice time to get together and get to know different people who have different experiences. It's really interesting and um, I'm 18 years old. I have alopecia universalis. I've had it since I was five. Um, children with hair loss has been really supportive and it's been really nice and i'm really sad we will not have it this year um and i hope to see everyone next year and hopefully we can get all get past all this COVID stuff so yeah small boat on the ocean sending big waves into motion i'm on a mission to help other boys see that no matter what they are beautiful. As an advocate for children with hair loss, determined to make a difference, from Corden, Indiana, I am Hadley Way McNaughty. So I'm in my Hermione outfit today. I got my nice hair and stuff and my makeup and my Hogwarts thing. But I need one more thing to do this. Huh? There we got it. Ready. I'm Hermione Granger and you are Holy Cricket! You're Harry Potter. 
Stop, stop, stop. You're going to poke someone's eye out. And besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa. Not Leviosa. Now, Harry, even in the wizarding world, hearing voices isn't a good sign. My life now surrounds around Harry, Hermione, Ron, and every other character in Harry Potter now. Yay! An avatar! Hey guys, Diana here with Hair Solutions by Diana Ford here in San Diego, California. Just sending some hellos and love your way. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. I know it's unfortunate that we're missing our charity ball this year. I was really looking forward to hosting that class with you all, but rest assured we're doing it next year and I cannot wait to see you guys. I hope you're staying well, staying safe, and can't wait to see you soon. Take care. Hi everybody, we just wanted to say hi from Sparkle Network. I am Sparkle Network founder Mo Leitz. I'm here today with my board of... My name is Leslie. Rachel. And we just wanted to say how much we're gonna miss not seeing you this year, but we're excited to see you next year and see how much fun we can have next year when you're all twirling on the stage and doing what you do with all the fun and the twirling and all that. So, you know, it stinks that we're not together this year, but we will be together next year. And, but there's some important things we learned this year, and that's how to be there for each other, to stay connected to each other, and to learn how to help each other. So with that, we send you all the love in the world, and we can't wait to see you next year. Bye. Bye. Hi, everybody. It's Grant from HairMax. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, as you know, we can't have your charity ball this year. Um, I can't describe how much we enjoyed seeing all of you last year, meeting you, and each of you is such an amazing and beautiful child. It really did my heart good to see you there and walk down the runway. It was truly life enriching experience for me. So from myself and from Hair Max to the Laser Company, we wish you continued success and happiness today, tomorrow, and throughout your future. You're in good hands with Regina, and I love children with hair loss, and I miss you guys. Hope to see you next year. Take care of yourselves. Hi there, I'm Kathy Kane with Market Insights, Trenton Trib, Island Beacon Newspapers, and I am so proud to be uh, part of the Children with Hair Loss team. I've been doing marketing and advertising with Children with Hair Loss for over 10 years now, and it's just a great group. Um, I also feel it very important that to sponsor the golf outing and be part of the gala in some way. Um, it's just such a great group, and it's so good for uh, kids' self-esteem, and I'm just so happy to be part of it. God bless Regina, Christine, the staff and volunteers, and I hope to see you at the gala next year. Hi, it's Beth from Santa Fe Salon. We're donating some more hair for the children with hair loss. Just wanted to give a, a live video of uh, somebody actually getting their hair cut. This is Debbie, my friend, and she's donating nine inches of her hair. And here we go. Okay, well, that'll go for, for a donation for some more wigs for the kids. We're, we're happy to help you guys out. Hi, it's Morgan from Miracle Salon and Medi Spa, and I just wanted to say I'm sorry that I'm not going to be able to make you look extra beautiful this year for the charity ball, but I'm super excited about taking care of you and making you look extra beautiful next year. It, it truly does take a village to make this organization, this amazing organization work, and it comes from Regina and Christine and Debbie and all the volunteers and all the people who are so generous sending us their, not only their hair donations, but their financial support. And of course we couldn't do any of this without volunteers. And it just, it really takes, they're all special, every single one of them. But I think for me, and I think I can speak for everybody on the board, what makes it special for us is those kids and their parents and their families. They're amazing. They're just amazing. I guess I just wanted to thank um, everyone who's involved in this organization. Um, I don't get involved in a lot of organizations because I, it ha I have to feel something for it. 
And I think if you see some of the things that go on around here, you would feel the same way. So, and I thank you. So to all those kids out there, stay safe, stay strong, and thank you. You have all touched my heart in a very special way and I appreciate it. And um, thank you. Hi. Hi! Hello, my little ladybugs. Hello, my little girls and boys. So we miss you. We're gonna miss you. We wish you, we were children with hair loss at the beginning of November. But that's okay because we're gonna get everybody's gonna be safe and happy and healthy this year and we'll have so much more fun stuff in store for you guys next year. Um, we're always here for you guys. We're a phone call, an email away. Um, we're not going anywhere, but we are gonna miss you so much this year. Can't wait to see you. If you need us, just reach out to us. We're available to talk, email, chat, Zoom, anything you want. We're here. We miss you, we love you, and we're gonna have a lot of great things in store for you next year, promise. Kisses. Children with Hair Loss is an organization helping children with hair loss, which means that we provide human hair replacements for any child with any kind of medical reason for hair loss. I started Children with Hair Loss because my niece, when she was three years old, was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And through that, she did lose her hair. She did do treatment for five years. She had 95% cancer. She had very little chance to make it through. And through those years, we've seen so many children that had absolutely nothing to wear. So being a cosmetologist at the time, and I was teaching cosmetology, I thought I can do better than that. So I knew in my head there was something I always wanted to do to give back. So watching Sarah, watching the other kids, I wanted something to give back. And as Sarah was growing and growing healthier, and I'm very happy to tell you today, she's a 37 year survivor. She's 40 years old and she's a mom of three. Hair donations come to us actually from all over the world. Many times we get boxes of hair through the mail right from the salon. Sometimes salons do fundraisers, but many times the hairdressers will hand the ponytail back to the client. They'll either give them the hair donation form or they'll tell them to go home, go to Children with Hair Loss website, which is childrenwithhairloss.us, print off the hair donation form, mail it in with their hair. They will be recognized with a certificate. We, uh, we take hair donations from across the country. I think we've had them from across the world. Uh, we uh, transform those into uh, real hair wigs, and uh, with that, we provide those to the children at no charge. Sometimes we'll be talking about children with hair loss, and I'll hear about competitive programs, and I just say, by the way, you know, we're the only ones that really provide hair pieces to children at no cost to the families. Uh, we do this because we love the kids and just want to make sure they're taken care of, no strings attached. We allocate $1,000 per child some it costs us a little more, some it costs us a little less. And with that money is raised to the public, it's raised to hair donations, it's raised to our fundraisers, it's raised with other people going out and having fundraisers for us. So every penny is appreciated, every penny is protected. We're very careful with everything we spend and do here at Children with Hair Loss so that it can be spent on the children. And no family has paid one penny. And that's a very proud moment. And it's only because the generosity of the public that believes in us and will help us out so that these kids can go forward building confident lives and being a confident adult so they can go out in the work world and be very productive. Many times meeting these children, they can have the confidence and they can lose their hair and they can lose all their confidence. And it's the one part of their life that we're very proud of is giving them hope and in giving them hair back and the hair does give them hope and then hope gives them confidence and so we're very very blessed here at children with hair loss to be able to do that for the children and the parents not have to worry and wonder how am i going to pay for this i've had families that have paid many many thousands of dollars and said we just can't afford to ever do this again and they find us and we're so proud of the fact that they find us and that they're never going to have to pay that kind of money again so it's through really very careful budgeting and the word of mouth going out there with social media being so strong. Our manufacturer believes in us. We have a few partners that believe in us that actually on every sale that they do, they might give us just $1.
Well, that $1 adds into many dollars and it makes it affordable for us to allocate this money to the kids. Partnering with children with hair loss for almost three years now has been an exceptional experience for the long hairs. We, of course, donate and we did the great cut and have donated hair and all these things, but it really is a true partnership in that children with hair loss really does anything, everything they can for us. Whether it's, you know, mentioning the long hairs in their emails or helping us out with all the various things we did at the Great Cut, it really is a true partnership. And that's in the very beginning of the relationship that we said we're looking for a charity partner and they really have been partners. The most rewarding aspect is actually, for me, is when I've actually taken care of a child or seen a picture of a child and turn them to the mirror and you see that big smile on their face and you know the confidence that you've given to them, that you've done something really special for a child that maybe nobody else could have done for them. So putting hair on them, they're very fragile little people sometimes and they can turn around and they can look up high and they can feel really good about their self. That's what life is about, is making a difference in somebody else's life, not in your own. We couldn't do what we do without the volunteers. And when they say it takes a village to raise a child, it takes an army for children with hair loss. And we have very dedicated volunteers that come here every single week. And they do this every Tuesday, every Thursday. A lot of them have met here. A few of them knew each other before. These three knew each other before. As they retired, then they come in to help. And that's how we keep doing it children with hair loss with the group of volunteers that we do. They're so good and committed. and make it all happen for us, so it's perfect. And we love you. And we love you. <laughs> I get way out of this more than what I give, trust me. So just helping to organize things and working at some events and especially the charity ball and financially. Um, but these kids, once you meet these kids, you can't help not be inspired. I believe that if you're able to help a little bit, um, why not give back? So it's just, it's a great cause. I think it gives them hope. Uh, it transforms them. I mean, it just, uh, that's, that's how I looked at it. It brings them maybe out of a shell. Uh, some of these younger kids, I mean, growing up when they see other friends at school and you know, they just feel like that there's something maybe wrong with them. Uh, they don't understand it until they get older, I think, uh, you know, but I think it just, it transforms the smiles on the faces, brings tears to your eyes. Okay, first up here from Michigan, age 10 years old. She enjoys reading and singing. Ladies and gentlemen, Joel. The charity ball, it started very small and started out at Western Golf and Country Club in Redford. And from there, it has just grown and grown. Now we're up to over 600 people coming to the event. The kids come in that weekend. They all stay at a local hotel out in Livonia that shuttles them to the event. And they get to come over and have their makeup done by actual makeup artists. And their clothing is provided to them from Sophie Stella Boutique and from Traffic Jam Boutique, because Jim's Tuxedo will provide for the boys and they just feel like princes and princesses, and they are. They're beautiful. They walk that runway, the confidence it builds in them. My favorite time is in this room where we are right now, uh, the night before the charity ball, when the, all those little kids come in and pick out their gowns and their outfits for the runway. And if you could see the excitement on their face, it's like, Putting, going into a candy store for a little kid or Christmas morning. It is that, it's, it's that exciting and that heartwarming to see. And when these kids come together and they see each other and they're loving and they're kind and they're caring. And each year at our charity ball and our VIP party on Friday night, it's either a family reunion for these kids or it's a new child that maybe hasn't met anybody else with hair loss before. And when they walk in the door, the kids that have come year after year see these new kids and they just go embrace them. They don't ask for anything and they're just like, come on with me and let's do this and let's do that. And they run this entire building and 
It's crazy around here and it's the most fun that you would ever see. So it's the giving part. When I first went to the first ball, charity ball that they had, the children that were coming down the runway uh, just seemed unbelievable. You, you almost wanted to cry. Uh, their, their faces, the smiles, uh, I think uh, the hair pieces that they wear uh, just transforms, I think, these young people into something more. I think a lot of them, I think, sometimes don't feel the confidence that you see them coming down. Like I said, it's all about the kids. Children with Care Lots would appreciate any donation that you could give us, especially during these times right now. Everything is helpful. There isn't too small of a dollar to send. Every dollar counts. Everything goes toward the kids. Bus behind the scenes and we've still stayed closed. We've taken care of every child. Every application that has come in has been processed. The children have all received their hair. We've done over 400 so far. We know we're gonna go well over 600, but we couldn't do it without your help. So help us give the best to these kids. Make that donation to children with hair loss. Next year, come to the charity ball. Come see the kids. Come see their smiling little faces. It'll change your life. My name is Olivia Susella and I'm a recipient at Children with Hair Loss for six years. At nine years old, I was diagnosed with alopecia. It started off as little bald patches on my head and grew into this beautiful head. Um, at Children with Hair Loss, it's just amazing. The charity ball is just the best weekend ever. Um, my first one. I was a little shy at the beginning, but by the end of the week, I was walking around without my wig on, strutting everywhere with my friends, and I absolutely loved every minute of it. Past fall, I did a fundraiser at my high school to show support to children with hair loss. We raised over a thousand dollars, and I would like to give it to them this year. So thank you to children with hair loss for everything you have done for me, and the thousands of kids that you help every single day. We are so lucky to have you guys, and I hope to see y'all next year. Hi, I'm Lily Nick, I'm 10 years old, and I live in Monroe, Michigan. I lost all my hair when I was 18 months old, and I started going to children with hair loss when I was three. In my free time, I like to paint, bake, and watch movies with my mom. I was really disappointed to find out that I couldn't do the charity ball this year because I look forward to it every year but I was really excited that I still got to make this video for children with hair loss. Thank you to everybody who donates to children with hair loss. Bye. I'm Emily O'Neill and I'm sad that the ball was canceled this year. Maybe be next year that it will be better than ever. But, and thank you for everything and maybe see you soon next year. Bye. The image she praised to be sculpted by the sculptor. Oh, she don't see the light that's shining Deeper than the eyes can find it Maybe we have made her blind So she tries to cover up her pain And cut her woes away Cause cover girls don't cry After their face is made But there's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark You should know your beauty Hello, my name is Madeline Gorgas, and I am from Pennsylvania, and I'm so excited to be part of this video because children with hair loss is so special to me. 
In 2012, I was diagnosed with alopecia. It started out as a small circle, and then within three weeks, it was completely gone. I was only in second grade. Talk about devastating. How does a child begin to cope and handle a life-changing hurdles? Everywhere I went, I've always felt different. Then I became a part of Children with Hair Loss Foundation. They made all the difference. Children with Hair Loss isn't just a foundation. We are a family. After attending the charity ball, I was not ashamed of how I looked. I realized that hair isn't everything. It doesn't define me or anyone else. Everyone is beautiful inside and out. God has a plan for me and it was to have alopecia, but I'm not alone. He led me towards children with hair loss, which has helped me and I'm so grateful for that. A special shout out to Regina and Christina. You ladies have helped me in so many ways. Always making sure I have the right colors and the right undertones and always feeling myself. Pl and planning events and learning new things. Thank you to everyone of this foundation and your dedication. A special thank you to everyone who is a part of the long hairs and the great cut, which will be taking place in 2024. And they will again break the world record. I would also like to thank the amazing ladies from Chicago Eyebrow Company and everyone who is a part of that for everything they have done for me. I'm so thankful to be a part of the Children with Hair Loss family and the great work that it has done. 2013, I started my own fundraiser, Madeline Smile, to give back and show my appreciation. It was my goal to help others and to feel fortunate to have raised so much money every year to support my family, friends, and community. I have met so many people dealing with alopecia through children with hair loss, and I've made so many friendships across the state, which I still have today. As I get older, I see the younger children at the charity ball fundraiser. I love talking to them and encouraging them and reminding them how special and beautiful they each are. And to think that was me not too long ago. Hey everyone, my name is Taylor Campbell. I live in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I am 17 years old. We are so sad that the ball is canceled this year, but we are so excited to see everybody back again next year. We are also so thankful for everything that Children with Hair Loss does for us. Hello everyone, I hope you all are staying safe out there. If you don't know who I am, my name is Addis and I've been a recipient at Children with Hair Loss for the past 17 years. And I'd just like to say that this year definitely hasn't been the same. Every November, my mom and I look forward to coming to Michigan, not only to see the familiar faces, but to see all of the new ones. And unfortunately, since we can't do that this year, this is me welcoming you into this big family that I am so blessed to be a part of. I'd like to thank all of the donors and all of the people that put their time and energy into this to make the hairball possible. And I hope I get to see all of you next year. Bank is proud to support children with hair loss, and although we're disappointed we can't attend this year's charity ball, we're looking forward to next year's event. Hi, we're here from Level 1 Bank to tell you about our involvement with children with hair loss. We got involved with this charity years ago because we really see the great mission that they have in restoring hope and resiliency to children with hair pieces uh, provided to help them deal with the difficult time in their lives. We have been involved with their golf outing and their charity ball, and uh, we particularly enjoy the charity ball because we get a chance to see the joy and the excitement the children have with the, the hair that is provided by this charity. We uh, at Level One Bank have always focused on youth with our charities, and, and this really fits in with that because of the joy and hope that they provide. Jennifer? Our team's really bummed this year that we can't be there in person. Everyone typically argues over who gets to attend, but we're dropping off our check today for our donation for this year. Even though there's no charity ball, we know that you guys will be back in 2021 better than ever. Thank you. Thank you for all the great work you do. We really enjoy being part of Children with Their Moms. Hi, my name is Susan Kettering, and last year I had the opportunity to represent the American Hair Loss Council and be invited to the charity ball. We had a wonderful, wonderful time. It was a great event. Regina, thank you for putting on perfect, perfect show. The kids were all looked so beautiful, and we were happy, so happy to participate. Hope to see you again next year. Bye-bye. Hi, this is John. And Stella from Jean Renaud. Bringing you this year, unfortunately, virtual greetings to 
your annual event, which is that fabulous, successful ball you have every year. Um, I'm sure that everybody will be there in heart and in spirit. Um, obviously not, but then you will have lots of virtual uh, participation. Um, you know, last year's event was a real eye-opener for us. Uh, we thoroughly enjoyed it, uh, the atmosphere. It actually blew us away to see the turnout and to how large it was. We never in our wildest dreams expected it to be quite as, um, as large as it really was. And very, very well supported. I mean, we didn't realize how big the organization was and we were proud to play our little part of being there and really enjoying the event. Uh, Regina and Christina, you and your volunteers did an amazing job as always. Um, a lot yeah. of hard work went into this. And you know, to see the, the, the models doing their thing on the stage. Strutting their wonderful new yes. locks of hair from Jean Renault, that was so rewarding to see just how important a role we play in making the success. Yes, it really, it really made a huge, huge difference being there and feeling the vibe. I mean, the vibe was outstanding. So yeah. we just want to wish Christina, Regina, and all your followers uh, all, all the best. Us, yes, all of us at John Renault have a great 2020. What's left of it, and and we will the be best. there, God willing, 2021. Yes, all the best for 2021 and Go well. thereafter. So go well, everybody. Bye. Cheers. Hi, my name is Ginger Lucy. I'm the owner of 3D Design here in Detroit, Michigan. And I have the super cool job of being the graphic designer and web designer for children with hair loss. I've been working with the organization since 2012, so this would be my eighth charity ball. Obviously, this year is a bit different. Actually, it was the day after Charity Ball last year, and each year that's the day that we start designing for the following year, the event. And I remember us talking about how we were just gonna be focusing on um, 2020 being the 20th anniversary of Children with Hair Loss, and that was gonna be the big focus of the year, obviously not knowing what 2020 would have in store for us and presented a new challenge design-wise. Uh, and I ended up having to separate the kids and the logo, put the masks on them, and we ended up having to cancel the in-person event, but we have figured out how to virtually do that this year. Uh, but it's always a challenge with children with hair loss in terms of design, and I love it. I love the work I do for the organization. Um, well, it's fun, it's great, but it's also meaningful work. Um, it's a family there, truly. If you ever have the opportunity to go to the headquarters in South Rockwood, you'll see the volunteers that are there day in, day out, the staff that's there, truly doing the work from the heart for the recipients, for the families. Um, these are children that have had medical-related hair loss, their families. Um, they just want to be able to take care of their kids. Their kids want to be able to go through their lives and the hair that they're getting, the human hair replacements, is helping them with their confidence. And um, I'm truly inspired by the recipients and I love, you know, when I get the testimonials to put on the website or the work that I'm doing for the salon partners or the barber partners or all the forms that I'm designing or the logos, everything. I know that it's all for the purpose of helping the children and the families and it means so much to me. I'm honored and privileged to be a part of it. So I'm looking forward to the next challenges. I love how much the organization has grown in the years that I um, have been fortunate enough to be a part of it and look forward to see what's coming next. Just let's do it in person next year. A big hello to the Children with Hair Loss family. I'm Tina Walther, creator and owner of Rapport Innovative Marketing, and my team has been working with children with hair loss for almost 10 years, assisting with the marketing and newsletters and various fundraisers. We are so very grateful to be part of such an amazing organization. Our team, while spread around the world, has seen firsthand the impact that children with hair loss has had, and they would love to tell you why the smiles warm their hearts and keep them going. I hope to see you all at the gala next year. In the meantime, be safe and God bless.
Hi, Renee here from Michigan. I really like being able to help the children and it just makes me so happy when I get to see them smile. Hey, this is Rachel in Colorado. I love being able to see the joy that children with hair loss is able to bring to the kids that they help. Hi, I'm Amelia Horton. I live in Denver, Colorado, but I'm originally from Michigan. I enjoy uh, doing work with children with hair loss because the work that they do instills such confidence in their recipients and it's obvious on all of their smiling faces. Hi, I'm Leah. I'm from Michigan and I now live in Zurich, Switzerland. I enjoy adding photos of happy recipients and donors to the monthly e-blast. It warms my heart. Hi, I am Mariella. I live in Michigan and I am based in Italy now, just outside of Turin. Helping children with hair loss is a wonderful experience every time I help them building their newsletter. Just seeing how happy the children are brings a huge smile to my face. My mom started the business 33 years ago. And she always wanted to have her own own her own boutique store. She was like managers at hair salons and different things like that. So she said she could envision a, a boutique to be so busy that it would cause a traffic jam. So that's kind of how the name stuck with her. We are a women's boutique store located in downtown Wyandotte. We have casual wear and formal wear. In the formal wear, we specialize in prom, homecoming, quinceanera, any special occasion, holiday parties, you name it, we have it. In addition to that, we have shoes, jewelry, and accessories to match. So we're kind of like your one-stop shop. 15 years ago, we were members of the SWCRC, which is the Southern Wayne County Chamber of Commerce. And there's a business expo that they would host every year. So we were one of the vendors and we were asked to do a fashion show. And Regina from the Children with Hair Loss and Christine, her daughter, were there in attendance. They were one of the vendors as well. I wanted to know more about her organization and then we started, we bonded and she's, I wanted to do something with her. And so she's like, well, you know, we do this annual charity ball. If you want to participate that way, maybe you could be a sponsor. So we did. She came up with the idea of doing fashion shows. So that's what we started off doing. When we do the um, charity ball, usually we showcase the formals because a lot of the the girls and everybody in the audience love to see that. I get a sense of joy to see these girls, to meet their families and connect with them and to know that, you know, they're going through struggles like a lot of us do, but they're even more so. And to help them instill the confidence and to make them feel so special this one night. This particular charity ball that the Children with Hair Loss does for these young women is just unbelievable. It's amazing as to how much doing this charity ball getting into these beautiful dresses and gowns for the one evening, whether it's modeling from our store or just having these girls come and wear pretty dresses for that night. It's something that's better than any prom any girl could probably ever go to. And it's one place that they can, can unite girls from all over the country to come and meet other people who are going through the same you know, troubles that they go, they go through and they can relate. It's a sense of empowering them, giving, instilling the confidence in them, seeing these big smiles on their faces because everybody wants to feel good and feel pretty and be like a princess. And that's what this charity ball is for them. And we as Traffic Jam can be a part of it to help them feel special and to get to know them. And I love each and every one of them and I miss them with all my heart. It's amazing. It's just a really, really great event. Hey kids and young adults, Chris and Lindsay here at The Long Hairs, but you might know us better as El Rubio and El Moreno. Like a lot of our plans in 2020, we were devastated to learn that the charity ball was gonna be canceled this year. But that does not mean that we're not thinking about you guys. And we sure are gonna miss you. We were even practicing our ring announcer voices for months getting ready for the big fashion show. This is Lauren. But just because we're not going to see you at the charity ball this year does not mean that we're not thinking about you. That's right. Now, you probably remember the great cut in 2019 
where we rallied for 339 pounds of hair donations and $50,000 donated to children with hair loss. You might also know that we're doing it again in 2024. So we've been growing our hair out and we've been telling everyone we know to grow their hair out. We even made a commercial about it. Been a while since your last haircut? Same here. Why not lean into it? You're halfway there. Just imagine the flow life. Besides, right now is the best time in history to grow long hair. That's what I'm doing. But this isn't my first rodeo. I had a glorious flowing mane until I donated two feet at our record-breaking charity event in 2019. Now, we're all growing it back out. And you should join us. We can even help with the awkward stage. Start growing now for the next world record hair donation at The Great Cut 2024. What you might not know or realize is hundreds, maybe even thousands of people are growing their hair right now to donate it for you. Here in 2020, four years in advance, we've already had more than 350 people sign up for the Great Cut interest list and more than 150 people purchase one of the Great Cut 2024 t-shirts. How many did we have last time? Pretty sure we had zero signups and zero t-shirt sales. So safe to say we're going like 2X. Dude, we're going more like 3X. More like 5X. Dude, more like 10X. <laughs> Dude. That'd be more than 3,000 pounds of hair. That's a lot of hair. Well, it's gonna be exponentially bigger than it was in 2019. Fair to say, and we hope you will be there. Of course, 2024 is a long ways from now. Shoot, maybe you won't even need a hair replacement by then. Maybe your hair grows back, or you just have so much confidence you don't even wear one anymore. But someone is gonna need it. Maybe someone who doesn't even know they have alopecia yet, Maybe someone who's not even born yet. Just like that first hair replacement you received and how it made you feel, just think, someone is growing that hair right now, maybe even for you. You know what's incredible? What? Children with hair loss has been doing this for 20 years. It's amazing. They've never turned a child away. That is just incredible. Sure is. And we're proud and grateful to be part of it. Well, I don't know about you, but I sure do hope we get the invite to the Charity Ball in 2021. In Livonia, Michigan on November 6, 2021? Yep, that's the one. Sure hope so, too. Don't you worry, we'll have those ring announcer voices dialed. Hey, but until then, we miss you, we love you, and whatever challenges come your way, we're with you, and we're thinking about you. Here's to another 20 years. We send lots of love to you guys, and we'll see you next year. Sure. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed. We appreciate you coming and being with us through this time. During this pandemic, we have still taken care of every application with every child. Everyone has received a box. So thank you donors and sponsors for making the giving possible. You all stay safe. Stay in touch. We can't wait to see you next year at the Charity Ball. So save the date, November 6, 2021. What a celebration it's going to be. We did have our 20 years set for this year. So next year, we're going to go back a little and still celebrate our 20th year of giving, even though it'll be 21. So we'll just have that many more kids to celebrate.